Cooper. Now, Doug, before we talk about your really cool story about why you're in Vegas and everything, I wanted to introduce you as a um, very well-known author, and your book here that you currently have out is Outside In, right? Yes, Outside In um, is a story, it's a modern search for identity and responsibility, sh showing through the eyes of the lead character how sometimes we have to become the opposite to know who we truly are. That is actually a really big statement too, and you had a, a wonderful reaction to this book too. In fact, I think I see a little bit of an award on the front cover. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to win the International Book Award for Literary Fiction for Woo! 2014, so that was good news. Um, and it's really, it's, it's an old story that I'm trying to put a new spin on. So it's, it's a character that's 28 years old and he loses uh, his job and in that he loses his, his identity. And he goes kind of on a search and the things that he finds, the sex, alcohol, drugs, he becomes lost even more. So it's a story of him kind of losing himself and coming back around to know what's really important in his life. Fabulous, and congratulations again on your award. You. That's fantastic. And so you, you actually came to Vegas after this, and you've been here for two years. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is you're writing a new book, right? So yes. tell me about what brings you here. Yes, yeah, so the, the new book is called The Investment Club, and it's, it's based right here in downtown Las Vegas. And it's about five broken people who meet at a blackjack table over at the El Cortez Casino and they discover the greatest return you get in life is what you contribute to one another. So I'm doing a lot with this idea of gambling and debt, both on a personal and a financial aspect. So really kind of digging into their lives, what brought them here, how they met, and then how they influenced themselves, each other, after, after that meeting. I think this is a really, um, a really important issue to explore, and I think that this is very centric to what Vegas is, but it also offers like a different view of, of how people can benefit each other and grow as a result, right? A absolutely, and, and the timing I think is perfect. Uh, when I came to do kind of my initial research and I caught all the downtown stuff that was happening, I just really reinforced that it's the right time for this story to be told. And very little action is going to happen on the Strip. I'm really keeping it all downtown with people that are living here, that have transplanted here, but are living here now. So it's more about their lives than it is, you know, the typical story I think that's told here. Thank you so much for supporting downtown and, and concentrating on that rather than the Strip. And speaking of research, what kind of things did you do in order to help you write this book? Like, did you research in the casinos? Yeah, I could say I spent a lot of time playing blackjack. <laughs> uh, playing blackjack, and one of the characters, one of the five characters is a stripper. So I had to make my rounds of the different <laughs> clubs and get the authentic research as well there. So It's got to be authentic. That's the most important thing, right? <laughs> exactly. It's the details that, that make the writing. <laughs> Fantastic, okay. So, um, if people want to um, find out more about this, like, when do you think you're going to have the book finished? Yeah, all my, all my writing, um, if you want more information, um, you can go to bycooper.com, B-Y-C-O-O-P-E-R.com, and all the information on my writing books, where they can be found. Any bookstore will have it or can order it. Um, the new book I'm hoping to be finished early 2015. 2015 and hopefully it'll be out late 2015 early 2016. Okay so now that we've got those details out of the way I'm going to ask you some of those pressing writer's questions. Okay. So what's your best tip for being able to get through writer's block? Yeah writer's block I've found comes usually when you have too many ideas going on and you can't you can't pick one and your mind's just going everywhere mm -hmm. so I just try to slow everything down and really, it's like anything else. You just have to grind through stuff. There's a lot of days that you don't want to be there staring at the screen. There's other things to do. And you just got to have some discipline and grind through. And a lot of this stuff isn't any good. But the only way you're going to get through those lulls is just to, to grind and grind and grind. <laughs> Very sage advice. And so my last question is, I feel like this is a thing. Do you ever wake up at 3 AM and you've just got this idea and you have to jump up and turn the light on and start writing it down? Yeah, absolutely. That's why it's nice to have a, a journal by the, by the side of the bed. You write it down. Most of it never makes sense. <laughs> but every so often you get a nice little kernel that you can build on the next day. 
I like the sound of that. Well, I'm very inspired by your story, and thanks again for coming out to downtown Las Vegas um, to write the book, but also coming on the show to tell us all about it. I'm very excited about uh, the Investment Club being released next year, and uh, thank you for coming on the show. Oh, thank you so thanks, much. Doug.